Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining today's webinar. We have a really exciting topic lined up. My Team 11 is one of the largest and most trusted fantasy sports companies in India. Since opening in 2016, they've acquired over 17 million users that compete in fantasy sporting contests in 10 major sports. I'm joined today by Sachin from My Team 11, as well as my colleague Prasanna from Redis, who will be diving into how My Team 11 overcame the limitations of their relational database with Redis Enterprise in order to facilitate their rapid and impressive growth. All right, Prasanna, off to you. Thank you, John. I am Prasanna Rajgopal. I have spent over 22 years in the software industry in engineering and customer facing roles at companies such as Oracle and Dell. I have spent the last decade working with customers in a pre sales role, helping them architect solutions for their various business challenges. I have worked at Redis for the past two years. I am delighted to have Sachin Lunia with us from my team 11. Sachin is passionate about coding, sports, and gaming. At my team 11, he gets to work in the field of his interest and passion. Sachin has been with my team 11 for the past three years and leads the R&D team at the company. He comes with vast in-depth experience with various databases, algorithms, and programming languages. Before my team 11, Sachin built a portfolio of skills across different cloud platforms, having spent many years at an education software company focused on helping people develop their entrepreneurial skills by learning about e-commerce business models. Welcome, Sachin. Let's get right into it. Can you please describe my team 11 to our audience in your own words? Uh, hi, so thank you so much, Prasanna, for this warm welcome. Uh, so we are uh, India's one of the biggest fantasy-based platform with almost 17 millions of user base. So we allow people to create their own team based on their skills, judgment, and observation on the previous games. And uh, we will provide provide we will provide prize to them. Wow, um, nearly 17 million customers. That's, uh, that's, that's amazing. Congratulations. You and your team at uh, My Team 11 should be proud of what you have achieved. Uh, please tell us more about your applications that support these millions of customers. So we have multiple platforms for our customers to interact with, such as Android, iOS for iPhone, and web application. So in our gameplay, if we talk about our gameplay, we have different contests. So user can create their own team and user can create a user can join different contests. The all contest has different joining fees. So user can join uh, any contest uh, based on their decisions. So if any user wins a contest or user comes uh, in the winning zone, we will provide pro prize to them. Nice, nice. That's that's amazing. Uh, now that you have achieved so much success, how is your business evolving? Okay, so initially we were, when we launched uh, My Team 11, we were a fantasy based company only. But uh, after that, we joined multiple uh, sports for fantasy. Like currently, we are having 10 sports like hockey, rugby, football, basketball, and other games as well. And we we also have the uh, we, we also created quiz that is a RNG game. We also have a rummy. We also have poker and some real money games as well. And we also launched a uh, sports based uh, news app which is called Sports Tiger. That is uh, that is dedicated for news only. So any you can any user can get uh, sports news uh, by that uh, by that app. So that app is free of cost for every user. You're growing fast. You're diversifying into news, other sports, sports news. That's so that's so great to hear. And you're also diversifying your revenue streams. That is uh, that is so critical uh, for any business. How did the success and evolution in your business lead you to Redis Enterprise? So I mean, as business evolves uh, more customers started coming to our app so whenever big match started i mean whenever big match started there was a multiple users was uh, was, was on the app so yeah. our relational db was not having that much scale 
to to entertain all the users requests so our db got stuck so in order to th- do that we started increasing our database servers but that was not a proper solution because uh, somehow customers experience was getting hampered so that's when we start looking for other alternative uh, tech uh, technology you can say like we started exploring other database we started exploring uh, other backend backend languages as well yeah so you had uh, you had challenges scaling your uh, database servers your relational database servers weren't scaling uh, and they couldn't accommodate the increasing user requests for creating and changing their fantasy teams uh, similar to your story many customers use redis enterprise to scale their applications now this is a good time to switch gears and talk a little bit more about your technology stack can you please uh, describe your technology stack so currently we uh, if we talk about our infrastructure we are completely on aws so our, all the infrastructure are de- deployed on aws we are using mongodb dynamodb that is ms sql postgres sql for our databases we are also using node.js dotnet core and python for our apis and we are using angular and reactjs for our front end we are also using s3 for storing our media and we are using uh, apache kafka we are using apache spark we are using aws glue for st- uh, for our data lake and uh, uh, there are other things uh, we, which we are exploring and we are using okay thank you uh, thank you for that uh, detailed description uh, it is an elaborate technology stack covering your complex uh, business and application needs what were some of the technical considerations on which you based this the stack so here at my team alone we are very open to implement a uh, new technology but obviously budget is a concern reason being we are a self funded company so we have a separate department for r and d so uh, if any challenge we are facing in our day to day life or uh, if any other, or any other section which is getting critical for us so we start looking for other technology or other alternate solution or we start looking how we can optimize our current tech stack or how we can optimize our current implementation so if all the thing fits in uh, the budget or in the time constraint we start implementing these uh, technology oh great that's a, that's a great story you you have taken a self funded company and scaled it to millions of users that is uh, that's amazing congratulations to you and your team not not many companies have done what you have achieved at my team love and having taken the self funding route uh, this is an incredible accomplishment now that you have achieved so much success how have your technical considerations changed over time okay so uh, uh, i mean earlier we were not uh, that much experiment or uh, experimental in our tech stack or we were not evolving new technologies but uh, as customers start coming to app our uh, our oldest tech stack was not sufficient enough to handle that much scale so i mean if we talk about earlier days we uh, uh, when my team learned launched uh, we were having ms sql as our database and we were having dotnet only but uh, as customer getting increases these things are not sufficient enough to handle that much scale so obviously we, i mean we don't want uh, our customer experience to hamper so start we started looking other things so that's how it happened okay so uh, the since the relational database could not meet your growing business needs and uh, so that's when you turn to uh, turn to redis enterprise how did you select redis enterprise to meet these scalability challenges so okay for for that let me tell you the whole use case why redis yeah. came to picture so we create match for example we are having a match which will start two days uh, after so we will create a match and that match will be an active match so any user can create uh, their team and can join the contest in that match so just but after two days when the match is going about to going start before 30 minutes match toss happens and playing 11 is get declared so whenever playing 11 gets declared all the users who created their team or they want to create their team 
comes to our app and start making changes and they making changes in their team so okay. that's that's uh, that's create a very bad experience because our relational database was getting stuck somehow and it was not uh, ready for that much scale so we had to come up with a solution for customer experience for better customer experience so that's when we started looking for other technology so we explored uh, some other databases but uh, that was not that was not sufficient enough so we started looking elastication redis as a elastication mm. okay but there was a concern in elastication uh, of failover because we want a highly available system so but uh, failover was failover on redis elastication was taking time it was taking around 30 minutes with 50 gb of data whereas same uh, data on if we uh, i mean whereas same data on redis enterprise it was taking around few seconds like single digit second it was taking so obviously that was a very high and and without any without zero data loss so that uh, that is obviously a highly available solution because we can't wait our i mean users will not wait for 30 minutes yeah, I mean, the customer experience thing that you talked about and the failover has to be quick and uh, people are not going to put up with uh, their app not working uh, just because you are failing over. Uh, the customers don't care about that. The enterprise features like uh, failover are one of the many reasons uh, why customers like you select uh, Redis Enterprise. Other than the failover features, what are the tests did you use to evaluate Redis? Okay, so we have created our pseudo environment for Redis, just like our production environment. So that was that environment, just like a staging environment. But we were testing uh, that uh, environment with our highest traffic, which we were having on our production. Okay, so earlier we were using Redis as an elastic issue for us uh, for our staging purpose. But as I told you, like failover was not working, so we. Uh, we talked with Redis Enterprise and we just set up the same thing on staging uh, with Redis Enterprise as well. Mm -hmm. So we started with the same traffic which we were having at our peak. But after a few days, uh, we multiplied this traffic on Redis Enterprise and we, we tested uh, with 150x traffic of we, of we were having at that time. So that was a that was a very high traffic uh, we were testing on Redis Enterprise, and we tested failover on that much load as well. Like uh, when we were testing performance testing, we tested failover at the same time. So that was a moment we fail, we we felt like uh, okay we we are not having any kind of data loss. Yeah, it's uh, incredible to hear that story and. Uh... I'm glad to hear that uh, Redis Enterprise scaled to more than 150x, almost 150x your peak application traffic uh, during your testing. Uh, after you found that Redis Enterprise satisfied your needs, uh, please walk us through the process of adding Redis Enterprise to your technology stack. Okay, so it was very, very, very smooth. So we have already set up our code. Okay, so code was there. The remaining part was our infrastructure. So your team provided Redis teams uh, provided a document that was very easy to implement uh, for our cloud to connect with Redis cloud. So that was a pretty easy document. And uh, I think we had a call uh, our, uh, Redis DevOps team and my team level's DevOps team had, had a call to set up the connectivity between these two clouds. And I think uh, just, I mean, in one in one single call, we set up Redis. I'm glad to hear that, uh, that the uh, Redis, in, uh, Redis Enterprise integration into the stack was easy. I'm also happy to hear that our teams were uh, responsive to your needs, and we take that very seriously. We want to be responsive to our customers. I hear that a lot from many of my other customers as well. How does Redis Enterprise fit into your stack now? Tell us, uh, tell us about this new architecture with with Redis Enterprise. Okay, so I mean, Redis fits pretty well. Like it's actually fits pretty well. Uh, currently, I mean, earlier we were using Redis as a cache only, but after a few months, uh, after we launched Redis as our product in our production, 
after a few months when we get when uh, we when we get confidence on when we get confident on redis we started redis as a primary database so from last couple of years we are using redis as our primary database for our user stream uh, and also we are also explored some other use cases for redis so we have implemented redis in that as well like uh, we are using redis for managing our authentication of users we are using redis somewhere in our leaderboard as well oh that's that's amazing they this is so cool to hear uh, and uh, that you're using redis enterprise as the uh, primary database and we are uh, we are seeing that more often now and it's becoming more common way to use redis uh, the primary database is the common way that many customers are using us. Uh, and uh, how did Redis as the primary database now change the use of your relational database uh, in your stack? Okay, so if we talk about our primary, I mean Redis as a primary database, uh, because of that our relational DB is very much relaxed because most of the traffic was in our user stream. So we have more we have we have moved all the mod, whole module from our relational database to redis and because of that uh, because of that uh, our customer experience got got increased as well as our cost got reduced the reason being we were having our we were having heavy database server of aws to aws to entertain our users requests but as we we moved our most critical module to redis we don't need that much heavy system so eventually uh eventually redis reduces our cost as well uh, sachin uh, frankly reducing the cost of running your business is something we focus on at redis our leadership at uh, redis highlights that in every employee meeting they tell us to go out and help reduce the cost for our customers and help our customers uh, increase their profits. So thank you for uh, sharing that cost reduction yeah. story. Uh, we want to see you succeed beyond your wildest dream and become extremely popular and popular and profitable. You're using Redis as a primary database. You are using multiple modules. Can you share uh, with us uh, maybe uh, what else you're doing? Uh, any other modules that you are trying out or using in your uh, Redis Enterprise modules that you're using right now? So okay, so we are we, we have started not uh, that is not in production, but we have started uh, exploring Redis JSON. Mm -hmm. That is a module of Redis. So we have started uh, exploring Redis, uh, Redis JSON. But I think uh, in a couple of months we will launch that module as well. And uh, we we also found some new use cases in our product. Like we are working on product, so on new product. So I think we can use Redis as well. So we have also started uh, working on that as well. Okay. So um, you have talked a lot about um, about the customer experience. Can you maybe um, maybe share what was the impact from before to now with using Redis Enterprise? What was the impact on your customers? Okay. So uh, uh, I mean, uh, is it uh, customer experience uh, got increased? exponentially although customer doesn't know like we, which tech stack we are using behind the scenes but yeah it's got increased exponentially the reason being uh we we have uh, our support team dedicated to queries so mm. for example if i'm creating a team and i'm not able to create team or if i'm not able to join create join team or the app was taking too much time to serve my request uh so that is not a very good experience for me so users user were coming to our support team and user was raising tickets user was calling them but from last two years we are not having any single issue i mean when i'm calling a single issue i mean trust me we we we, we have not faced any issue after implementing redis on our uh, this module so our customer experience is obviously got increased very exponentially thank you Thank you. I want to ask you, switch gears a little bit and ask you about uh, what's next for, for your industry in the fantasy sports, in the, in the industry that you are in right now. Uh, what is next do you see for your industry and even for your own uh, company? 
okay so there are multiple factors nowadays impacting our uh, our app for example uh, other sports started uh, getting popular in india from uh, from last if we talk about from last few years we will feel like cricket is not uh, not that much popular in india nowadays uh, because soccer is getting popular foot, uh, i mean kabaddi is getting popular in india there is a dedicated uh, tournament uh, of uh, domestic uh, on the domestic uh, platform of india so kabaddi is also getting popular and also if we if we talk about from la from last couple of years fantasy business also started very i mean started growing very popular in india from last uh, i mean I, because I, I i'm seeing like there are multiple companies there are multiple celebrities uh, who are uh, joining these uh, fantasy based uh, platforms so yeah business started i mean business started growing very much from last couple of years so that is very that is very good for us and we have started uh, onboard uh, onboarding other games as well and we have started onboarding some real money games as well so we are working on that currently right now so that things will be launched by uh, january 2030 Yeah, that's uh, great to hear, Sachin. Sachin, I am so grateful for this fascinating conversation with you. You touched on a wide range of topics surrounding your business and gave our audience some great insights. I am grateful to you for sharing your story with us. Wish you and my team love and continued success. I am grateful for your time. Back to you, John. All right, Sergeant Prasanna, thank you both so much for your time and for the really interesting discussion. Uh, and thanks everyone for tuning in today. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about how Redis Enterprise can work alongside your relational database, check out our Oracle and MySQL pages at the URLs shown on the screen. Uh, if you're ready to join in on the fun or win some money with My Team 11's exciting competitions, check out myteam11.com. Or if you'd like to learn more, search for My Team 11 on YouTube or visit their YouTube page directly at the URL on the screen. Thank you. Thank you so much guys. Uh it was an amazing session. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so Sachin. Much. Yeah.